Alex took another hit from Chloe on a basket, and I mean, he literally got knocked the out, like big time. Going into the competition, it's extremely nerve wracking because I'm almost nervous putting him on the floor. Going into competition, uh, I felt really, I felt nervous, not gonna lie. So when I heard Alex, I just felt really badly. Chloe, at the beginning of the year when there was no stress, she was doing amazing. She was the first one to get a spinning basket. Um, we were actually debating her for center between her and Brie. We were going back and forth because she was doing just amazing. And the minute the season started and the pressure kicked in, then she just kind of kind of started falling apart. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm just trying to get her confidence back up and making sure that she knows that I believe in her. So when she gets on the floor, she believes in herself. I had a hard time learning full baskets. I would just do weird things and land backwards. And I understand her frustration. And it's not an easy skill to do. So I don't blame her at all. You know, things happen. That was the first time that I ever like actually went over oh, yeah. and like landed on top of him. I know he was hurting really badly, like he couldn't even get up. And so, like I didn't know if he was gonna be okay and it was just all really scary, it happened so fast. So Chloe felt really bad after hurting Alex. Obviously you don't wanna hurt your bases. She has a really good heart, so I could just see she was upset. I was trying to tell her just to be confident in herself. Sometimes I noticed that she doubts herself and she's so amazing and so I want her to know that she's good so she can go ahead and perform the skills that I know she can do. She was crying because it was her fault, but it just happens. It was an accident, so I was like, don't cry, don't feel bad. It was just an accident, so. I know that's really stressful for her. And I just wanna just kind of remind her and it can get to you mentally, but if you can go ahead and just believe in yourself and be stronger, you'll get through anything. If you guys are ever wondering why I said, don't cheer after 20, Alex, you look so cool. Get it because he's icing, he has glasses. You know, Chloe goes on the floor already worried about, oh, I'm gonna do this wrong, or like, you can't cheer like that. I tell my kids all the time, you can either get on the floor and say, watch what we're about to do, or get on the floor and be like, oh, baby Jesus, please, please, please let us hit. It helps a lot when flyers can like give me advice, and especially when it's not like, oh my God, like this is so annoying that you keep hurting people on the team, but when it's like, like I understand how you're feeling, like I've done that before, all you have to do is like stand up and like rap hard and you got it. Like it helps a lot when my teammates do that. This practice, it was just, I think it's like a big wake up call. We're gonna be here, we're gonna have to do three, so let's make them really, really good. Let's improve from yesterday, okay? Just remember, little things each time, okay? Like, you got it. not perfection, okay? That's all I'm saying, okay? Just stop. The vibe's a little it's weird, up. so let's pick it up. Yeah. The vibe this year is really different because yes, like we just got off of a win, but it's a lot of new people. So everyone's like, we're working really hard. We are starting to tell ourselves, you know what? It is gonna be hard and we know that. So let's do it and let's go for it, like full force. Reckless on three, ready? One, two, three. Going into this event, I'm not as confident as I normally am. I have so many kids that are hurt. Um, so the game plan is just basically water down things that I don't feel confident with, and we do the best we can. It's 4, 23, 24 in the morning. I have the morning competition right now, not doing too good. <laughs> dark outside and we're leaving to the competition right now. It's currently 5.45 in the morning. The sun's arising as we approach this Long Beach competition. Um, not feeling too happy. We're gonna do it anyways. What do you mean no feelings too happy? You can't say that. Low competitions, low 
love competing, love you the most, Moa, but 25 in the morning and be don't blend well. It's really, it's really early. Can you even see you? There. No, I'm, I'm lighting. Okay, now we got you. Hi guys. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Hi. Oh my god. So we have Jams Long Beach this morning and it's super, super early and we're all trying to get our makeup together, get ready. A lot of us had to wake up at like 4.45, 5 o'clock. So it's really tough to be up this early in the morning, full face of makeup, full hair. Ready to go. What time is it? Um, it's <laughs> too early o'clock. <laughs> like this Are all you all shivering? I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm freaking a slushie. I'm freaking a slushie. Ew! Uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning? What is wrong with you? I have an hour to get ready. I have to do Carissa's hair. And she, because usually she wears a posh, but she was being stubborn. It was all crowded. The bathroom was so little. We had no room to do anything. And Carissa was like, Chris is the worst morning person, so she wasn't having it. That's fine. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> you can see our breath. Morning live here at the Walter Pier. <laughs> Freaking seven of seven. He's drinking a Slurpee. <laughs> do you guys usually go like this early? Like I feel no. like no, <laughs> no, no. I thought like you know. Older team I got, the later, no, I was really wrong. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, this shouldn't be cold. I'm from <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Honestly, like a lot of us teenagers, we don't wake up early anyway. So then being told that we have to be fully ready is like, why? Higher. On Saturday, I went to John's to do my weekly tumbling workout, and I went to throw my double, and I hyperextended my knee. Lexi, um, I got a phone call last night uh, that Lexi hyperextended her knee, and then uh, Enrique sent me a video. Uh, she was doing additional workout, getting ready for the week, for the weekend, and they said she hyperextended her knee, but based on the video, it looks more than a hyperextended knee. The jump section, I'm gonna rework it really quick, and then anything else that, just to make sure it looks clean, it doesn't look crazy, okay? Uh, set up the opening really quick so I can go through it. Can you mark the standing tumbling section? Yeah. So it was kind of hard to walk afterwards. And I know that John was pretty worried, and then I know Eddie was pretty worried. Don't cry, Lex, we love you. And one, and three, and five, seven, and one, three, and stop. Are you okay to do all that? You sure? Okay. We were able to show up early today and rework our formations and our stunts and take her out of elements, and she can't get it checked until tomorrow. Um, when you guys move out for the 360 ball, I need you guys to move forward down the diagonal. So move upwards and not straight out now. Does that make sense? And that way, so the formation makes more sense. That was kind of nerve wracking again, because sometimes you're so programmed to do one thing that when you change it the morning of, it's like, oh my God, are people gonna remember? Is it, is it gonna look weird? Is it whatever? Are people gonna ask questions? One, dip three, big five, go seven, eight, one and two, three and four, eight, one in three, moving five, better, seven, one, two. Are you, do you think you're gonna be able to do this dance? You sure? Okay. So get a quick trip really quick. Good job, please don't forget the changes. So we're hoping that, you know, it's it just a sprain or something minor. We're hoping for the best. Uh, she's one of our strongest females on Smoed, so to lose her would be a detriment to our team. We've had four practices before this competition and they've been pretty rough. Oh, hey! I have a busted lip. For me, it's a little bit tougher, like especially like for anyone who's on the team who has an injury. There's nothing I doubt. 
So I need you guys to feel the same exact way. Balls to the wall. That's the type of team we are.